Hello and welcome to a new video. Now I am trying something that I haven't tried before and that is recording the audio of my game and the audio of my mic separately. And the reason why I'm doing this is because OBS does not feel like picking up my mic correctly. I've tried it several times and for some reason it always breaks. <sighs> this is actually uh, my fifth time trying to record this video. So I've made a lot of progress in that time. Let's just say I've made, you know, four videos progress. So, uh, first step, Sai is no longer bad. Now Sai is bye. It's for you, boss, right? Uh, next, I finished this section. Pretty much, I'm gonna add some, uh, some air deco today. It's going to be the main thing. I also started work on a little modern style. This is only gonna last up until the robot portal. So it's a fairly short part. Other than that, let's get into the showcase of everything else. So I'm just gonna play through this. So the first thing you'll notice that's different is this wave part. This, uh, this part right here has been completely changed along with the ship that comes right after it. This UFO has been broken up into a cube part midway through. There are some spikes on these walls and it's just a bit tighter overall. There are some spikes on these walls. This part is completely changed. And it goes on for a little while. I messed up. I think that actually marks all the changes that I made. So, you know, stuff happens. Oh my god. I, I've spent over three hours recording this game. Over three hours of content that's just worthless because of the bad audio. So hopefully this technique will work a bit better. The the sync between the game audio and my audio might be a little bit off, but that's going to be the only real thing that I can see that could be an issue. Other than that, let's get started. So the most important thing for today is getting some air deco in and to start I'm going to do some ground deco actually so this is a free layer and I'm just going to be putting some spikes on the ground just to liven it up a little bit and then we can go ahead and throw on the slopes and from here it's smooth sailing all right so let's see how this looks forgot to turn on the so one of the one of the best building tips you can get always toggle on don't fade glow off so it's not incredibly visible. I'm just going to go to its layer, copy the whole thing, flip it. I'm lazy. There we go. So the next thing that I want to do is air deco in the form of arrows. This is just a custom object that I have. It is time to place these. All right, and that should be everything for those arrows. And what else needs to be done here? I don't know if I want to just throw big slabs of glow on this. Maybe that would look good. What I'll do next is I'll just add like a very simple custom background, like the kind of things that you see in those those knockoff tutorials of how to get a feature level. Literally just grabbing a uh, the where is it i don't want this one i want this one and now we have this now this looks extremely generic that's because it is and then we just slap that on right there and then grab everything uh most important step is to sit around being an idiot for a little while and then these are also going to just move and we should be able to see Yep, looks good. I actually got an award recently for being the world's worst creator in Geometry Dash. I was very honored to get that award. Is that good enough? Like, can I just leave it like this? By the way, this is uh, this is the color palette for the next section. As you can see, it very much shifts over. Is that enough air deco for the entire section? I feel like it might be. The next step, however, is to grab like Sai is by, or not exactly use that, because we're gonna be making our own sheet. And this is going to be the biased the bias? No. We aren't biased over here. We are perfect in every way on the Aiden Code channel. Especially me. Now here, here is one of my favorite views of the entire thing. We just toggle on high UI. This is what my level looks like with high UI. I love it. Oh, that, that was clean. I gotta see this in, uh, in the editor. Oh, that's so clean. This is so clean. All right. So now in the meantime, because I'm bored of that, I'm gonna go ahead and play my sync layout. I've been making this layout recently. It's an it's the ultimate sync layout. It has really bad gameplay, but it is very synced. Ah, I messed up. What else have I been working on? This thing. <laughs> Y'all know sword dance, right? I'm making a new sword dance. A remake to sword dance. This is probably my dumbest idea yet. And uh, he here we go. I'm just gonna showcase the whole level. So here we go, we got the ship. Gotta double click, because why not? 
And then, guys, we're at the draw. It goes three times for like a split second, and then it's half speed for a minute. I changed it to three times. Okay. Then in the actual one. But guys, guys, sword dam. Other than that, I don't think I've really been doing anything. Guys, quality content. I was trying to decorate something. Pulsing. Looks good though. Wait, that was without no clip? Here. This is the original draft of Whispering Wind. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this. Whispering Wind is the new name for my level. So this is what this is what it could have been decorated like, first of all. It would have been like very earthy. But I scrapped it because I just did not like how it was coming. The gameplay is I think exactly the same. Uh up until this point right here where that block is different and then it's hard to commentate on this there, there's a few differences there's no uh, helper blocks there in the normal one. Uh, you can see the differences that's the biggest difference i think and then you have yeah the long column of straight fly uh not one of my proudest moments anyways that part, I don't know if I like more, like, uh, without the, uh, the upside down poles. And then you have this part. And then the drop. The drop is pretty much the same. A few differences. Oh, you got that part, right? I forgot about that. A lot of these things you can see in the original, uh, the original YouTube video, too. And then it ends right here. I never got the motivation to finish it, but then I did get the motivation to finish it, and I turned it into, you know, a full song layout. And, uh, I think it's safe to say that I, uh, I did a pretty decent job restoring this thing. But yeah, that's actually the original story of Windfall. It was originally going to be very earthy theme, and, you know, I decided to restore it after I wasn't happy with the decoration, and I'm so happy with how it turned out now, so good. Anyways, uh, what, 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 what? What is next? I have no more gameplay changes that I really want to make. So currently, I'm really happy with how this level is coming. Like, the decoration isn't the best decoration in the world, but it's certainly my best decoration. The only other level that I really decorated was Hell's Gate. And this is, you know, it obviously loses points for being Hellstyle. But this was just, it was not optimized. It's fairly messy. I, I think it's still pretty good. But it's not nearly as great as Windfall in its current state. This, this is still just, it, it's a good level. So. I, I, I like this decoration. So, you know, Windfall is more important to me right now. So that was, this This video has really been a trip down memory lane playing all these, uh, all these different levels. Anyways, I think that's all that I want to do in this episode. I mean, I've recorded so many drafts of it. I just want to get something out there and I haven't uploaded in a while due to the fact that my audio has not been working very well. So I think I'll leave it off there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. So before I truly end the video, I just want to say that I'm glad that I was finally able to get something recorded, but this isn't my favorite video that I've ever made, so the next video that I'm going to be planning on making probably won't be out for a while, but it's definitely going to be one of my best videos, if not the best. I just have a lot of creative ideas for how I can do things, so I hope to see you there, and I hope you still enjoyed this video anyways.